Tesla has been submitting a bunch of different Cybertruck related patents to the US government recently and within those patents we got a lot of UI images and somewhat of a sneak peek on what could be to come but the important thing to remember about patents are they are not confirmations. They are not super like official paperwork saying this is 100% exactly making it to market. I spent a lot of my earlier YouTube career covering Apple products and I can tell you confidently that around 80 to 90% of the patents we saw for Apple hardware did not make its way into actual products that we could eventually buy. Now Tesla could be different and it does at least give us a clue on some of the things that Tesla is working on. Just try to remain a bit realistic about it understanding that not all of these things might make it to market but yeah. Some of the UI elements actually went into more detail on the vault cover being solar equipped which I was very happy to see making its way into headlines again and the fact that Tesla is submitting paperwork for the solar covered cover is good news because Elon Musk talked about there being a solar option for the Cybertruck like the day after they unveiled it and said that that cover would allow them to get around 15 miles of range per day which isn't much but it is something and it would be free but since then we hadn't really heard Elon Musk talk much about it in fact on the Joe Rogan podcast he talked more about how solar on electric vehicles doesn't really make sense or work so don't get me wrong it's still possible that the solar option won't come to the Cybertruck at all but that in particular is very interesting to me because even if it's just 15 miles miles of range of day. That's 15 miles you can go literally out in the middle of the woods. You could be camping, you could be out in the desert and still be gaining range, and it also just improves energy consumption on long drives. So this is not the type of solar package that is going to prevent you from needing to charge. You're still going to need to stop at superchargers and probably charge from home. But just knowing on a road trip or something that the solar cover over that vault would be powering the HVAC system inside the car or powering all of the internal electronics like the display and like the chargers people are tapping into. There's all kinds of great benefits that could come from being able to coat that whole vault and thanks to these patent filings we can see exactly how it rolls up and how Tesla hides it within the Cybertruck. It's a very interesting contraption that I hope they can bring a solar option to It ultimately we won't know exactly if it's worth it until we find out how much of an optional add-on that is but even if it was very expensive I personally would still think it's worth it just for the use case of people that may be going on a long trip and need to to leave their pickup truck parked at an airport parking lot for many many weeks potentially months at a time it's kind of a concern people have with electric vehicles now because of that phantom drain particularly when you have sentry mode enable you eat through that battery a lot faster but if you were leaving your car parked in a parking lot for weeks or months at a time and it had some type of solar technology on the top that was able to give it 15 miles of range per day instead of slowly losing range over time as your EV is parked there it would actually gain range you could come back to the airport with a full charge and also you could still leave sentry mode on and not have to worry about the EV trickle charging itself to death. So I really really hope the solar package makes it to market and I was very happy to see the patent filings making reference to it but there's also a bunch of other interesting stuff. We got more patent images of the camping package which we're still not entirely sure if Tesla plans on bringing that camping package to market as something you can actually buy but Elon I believe in response to a few tweets was saying they did plan on actually making this and now within the UI elements we can see the camping package as well as controls for activating the electric stovetops and the steak that you'd be able to cook out of the tailgate of the Cybertruck which I thought was really cool and seeing all of these different elements built into the UI does give me a lot of hope that the camping package was not just one photo that they needed for a proof of concept to hypothetically show what third-party camping options could look like in the future but no seeing them put that type of work not not just into the concept images but also into the user interface points to the idea that this will actually be something that people can buy the camping package will be real and you'll be able to control it directly from the 17 inch center screen on the Cybertruck so the user interface is genuinely going to be optimized to handle that stovetop package and all of the camping equipment that the Cybertruck could potentially come with that's exciting for me and I love seeing that aspect of the user interface as well another little Easter egg people were noticing was in the row of icons on the left column there is a windshield wiper icon and in case you don't realize the significance of that the Cybertruck prototype that we've seen in Texas California New York we're pretty sure it's the same one at every location that does not have windshield wipers anywhere they're not hidden in the front they don't occasionally show up with the Tesla Roadster we've seen lots of pictures of it without windshield wipers but at certain showcasings we actually have seen what the windshield wiper is supposed to look like we have not yet seen that with the Cybertruck and kind of understand 
so, because the Cybertruck is kind of very iconic for having this very obvious flat windshield and frunk area where there's no bumps, there's no extra seams, and a lot of people are very curious to exactly how windshield wipers are going to be incorporated into this vehicle. There's a few crazy patents out there that have suggested Tesla using some kind of weird laser technology or more futuristic methods of getting rid of the rain from the windshield, but at this point, windshield wipers are still legally required, and I don't think that law is going to change anytime soon, and this is part of the reason I'm very, very interested in Tesla giving us a Cybertruck update, hopefully sometime in this quarter. Elon said it would be in Q2, but I am starting to doubt that it's going to happen within the next month because they're so busy with the Plaid Model S delivery event and all that, so it might have to be a Q3 or Q4 update that we actually see what the new version of the Cybertruck looks like, but I'm guessing the iconic design will still mostly be there, just little details like side view mirrors, which also are referenced within these patent filings, which I found interesting. Similar to the Mercedes EQS, with the Cybertruck there's references to cameras on the interior looking at your eyes and adjusting side view mirrors based on where your eyes are located, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but in my opinion it is because on no Cybertruck prototype or on any of the Cybertruck images we've seen so far, there's not a single mirror on this vehicle, okay? Not on the side view mirrors. And also on the inside, I feel like I still run into people on Twitter that don't know about this, but that rear view mirror is actually just a display showing you the camera feed from the back bumper, which is actually a really smart feature because there's a lot of times where pickup truck owners are filling up the bed with a ton of stuff, and obviously the Cybertruck has to do that because the vault, when it's closed, you won't be able to see through the rear view mirror if it was an actual mirror. But on top of that, even if the vault was not closed and you had a bunch of cargo or furniture filled up in your bed, if it was a traditional pickup truck, you wouldn't be able to see out the back. But because that's a rear view screen, not a mirror, you still can see out the back. I believe even if the tailgate was down, because the cameras are located pretty close to where the license plate is. So having the tailgate down might cover up a bit of your view, but I still think you'll be able to see quite a bit of your background, even if the bed is filled up with stuff. And knowing now that there's patents referencing to eye tracking for side view mirrors means that once again, Tesla is probably not assuming that the law is going to miraculously get changed and side view mirrors won't be required anymore. But there probably will be some type of cyber aesthetic looking side view mirrors that make it onto the production model. And hopefully people who dig the Cybertruck design aren't too bothered by that. And also hopefully the aerodynamics don't make too big a difference on the range. But speaking of range, that's another kind of interesting Easter egg that a lot of people are noticing within these patent filings for the Cybertruck because in the corner we see the range number on many of these pictures. Some of the time it just says 150 miles, which might just be a placeholder number. In fact, because this is all patent filings, I'm sure all of the numbers on the screen are probably placeholder files and placeholder numbers. But the fact that many of these screenshots actually show a 610 mile range, very easy to get prematurely excited about that because again, it's probably a placeholder and that sounds way too good to be true. But I just love the fact that we're getting patent filings from Tesla alluding to the Cybertruck needing to display a 610 mile range. I knew that the Cybertruck tri-motor was going to get over 500 miles and Tesla is very very good at exceeding their prototype range projections with their production model so I was not shocked at all to find out that yeah the official range might be higher than 500 but to see it surpass 600 that's incredible. I hope that ends up happening and I really really hope that ends up being real but I'm also trying to keep myself calm and realistic. It's just a placeholder that doesn't really mean anything. We're probably looking too deep into these patent filings but just seeing the number there gets me excited because can you imagine a $70,000 all-electric pickup truck that can go over 600 miles on a charge? Granted when it's towing stuff yeah that's gonna be more like 300 but that's still gonna be like unmatched in the pickup truck world in regards to range particularly for the price you pay but either way I really hope that ends up being real and on the subject of towing capacity we also saw a few patent images of uh, updated user interface for Cybertrucks to back up and connect to the Cyber Living trailer that we also saw Tesla provide a few photos of. We still weren't exactly sure if that trailer was just a proof of concept. It was definitely a rendering on the website, but maybe Tesla is thinking about actually making a cyber trailer that would be somewhat aerodynamic and work well with the Cybertruck. And seeing that user interface showcases that the Cybertruck wants to have some kind of smart tow connect feature where the car can probably automatically back up and position itself directly where you need to attach your trailer. There's also some other elements in the patent filings showcasing your angle of approach on different off-road options and seeing the grade of hill you're going up against. So all kinds of really cool 
cool stuff that I'm glad Tesla is putting into the Cybertruck. They're not just borrowing the Model S or Model 3 user interface and carbon cut copying that over to the Cybertruck. Seeing that really high-end, advanced, and futuristic user interface that the Cybertruck had on Unveiled Night was cool. And I'm glad to see through these patent filings that there's probably going to be a bunch of other really cool user interface elements that make the Cybertruck more unique and they make sure that the software fits the aesthetics of the hardware, which is not something you often see with automakers making different kinds of design approaches with their vehicles. You know, Tesla's kind of known for making fairly similar looking sedans and SUVs between the Model 3 and Model S, all having this kind of curvature look and very aerodynamic and very sporty looking design across their vehicles. And the Cybertruck is a very clear and very obvious departure from that design aesthetic. And seeing the software go along with that departure is cool. And I can't wait to play around with it myself. I'm curious how much of these patents you guys think is actually going to make it into the official Cybertruck launch? Or do you think these are just a bunch of dated patents and screenshots and most of this stuff is not going to make it to market? I could honestly see it going either way. So feel free to let me know what you guys think is going to happen. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.